Yud. Posso virar. Chaltim, Yoshem, Nelson. Yoshem, Neichodesh, Tutsiu. Normally, at the time, produce rats. Chaltim, Yoshem, Nelson. It will not rot. It will be able to retain itself. The total is yashing. To the contrary, the Gemara says that a fruit or produce that ages, which doesn't rot, quality speaking, it has greater quality than the new produce. The wheat that will be, or the grain that will be three years old, qualitatively will be better to eat than the previous year's wheat. The granaries will be filled with the new the new produce. And the storage houses will be filled with what? With the old. So now you have to shift it. So now you have to empty the granaries for the new produce coming into the new harvest. You have to find other places to store the it's like how do you we don't know what to do with the snow. What do you do with the snow? There's so much snow. What do you do with it? The question is, what is the value of this? Is the very close to the Rocha Adli guy? The Mara says, Shem says, I will rain down Rocha Adli guy. So the Mara says, in kindness, Achiyif Gimus of Sechemi Loma Dai. That when you say enough, your lips are going to wear out from saying enough. You're not going to be so fatigued from saying enough. That's how much enough there'll be. That's the bounty, the abundance that our control will give us. But what, what's the point of it? What's the point? Besides that, so you'd say, good. Especially when you come to the Medrash, the Medrash Kamchuma, we spoke about it. A person truly studies. The Shema at the, re- at the right level. Now besides, no, even going doing the thing, even the going doing the work, but still, you don't need that much. You don't need that much. The schar is, is all of my board. The schar is all of my board. Says the Chazal in the Medrash. Right? She see, it's speaking person. It's any Muslim person on Shemot at the ultimate. It's not the ultimate level. But still, to get distracted with this. So I think. What I think is. Anything within the context of Ruchni is unlimited. So it's not the value for the value. It's, it, it reaches a level of unlimited within the physical, which is a reflection of the spiritual, that you people are really spiritual. So it's not, so that itself is the Kiddush Hashem. It's, it's unheard of. This level of bounty, who have heard of it? It's, you, it, it just keeps coming. You don't know what to do with it. That's the brochas. The brochas, Adli Dai. The Adli Dai is a confirmation on the spirituality of Kalashi. And what a Kodesh is. That if you have a rela- special relation with him, then it's unlimited. That's, that's the value. So you being occupied is irrelevant you're occupied. It's the Kiddush Hashem aspect of what we're talking about over here. Meaning, Torah is not only for the Jew. It's for all humanity. That's the Kiddush Hashem. So have to have it middle of the road, middle of the road. Let us be the equivalent of them. They won't appreciate it. They won't despise us, right? The respect is the respect will not. No, it has to go beyond that. Because you're the what? You're the school of Mikolami. You're the treasure. You know, you're the princess. How do you recognize who's a prince and why you a prince? It's Abli Dai. Abli Dai is like a That ain't so. It's unlimited. This is beyond. This, this, this is in it. we're talking about abundance. That's saved. This is, goes beyond saved. This is you have, you know, it's like well, how do America they used to have a twenty year surplus. You know, we used to have a twenty year surplus of brain. You know, you know what kind of rough that is. That whatever happens next number of years, we have we have a surplus. 
It's similar to what we're talking about. That's what the Torah is speaking about. I will place my dwelling location in your midst. And my nefesh will not become um, how does he explain it? Tigal? No, it's the other way. Go see him. No, okay. I mean, I will never not have enough of you. That's what it means. Just want to acknowledge what the guest is. Okay. Exactly. What's your story? What's your story? What's your story? Nosati mishkoni se besamidu shlosi gom nafshi e ruach ruchi kotze bochem. I will not become my spirit. I will not become disgusted with you. Ko gilo lo shem plitas dovra bulu ve dovra achi. Plitas is what? Something which is absorbed something else. It actually, it spits it out. Moki. Shom nigal mogin giborim lo kibul ha-mashich ha-am shemoshin mogin shalom b'chele b'vushal v'ilahachlik me'olav ha-makas chetz o'chonis shlo yikabor You actually, you wax the with the hide with chelev so when the arrow hits it, it doesn't pierce this the hide, but actually it, it actually, it, it deflects it. Says, what's the possible uh, What's the meaning of a child? A child never overstays his welcome. A good friend has to understand, even a good friend, you know, there's, you know, there's, there's a limit. You can overstay your welcome. If I overstay your welcome, you what? The person says, it's enough. It's enough. That's the tickle nafshi. That's the tickle nafshi. If you bonum a temel Hashem al kechem, if for Hashem's children, a parent is never reaches a point and says, you know, it's time to leave. There's no time to leave, unless it's in the best interest of the child to leave. But it's not because the parent is disgusted with the child. We're talking, speaking about if the child behaves himself, behaves himself, is a proper child. I will walk in your midst. I will be your Elohim and you'll be my people. Rashi, a tiny Mohim and Gareed and Kehon and Kem. Lotim is dazzling in many. Do not be fearful, tremble for me. Yoho Lotim, maybe you won't fear me or revere me. Tambo, he said, the Yisi Lachem Lelokim. Actually, a number of occasions, based on Zuking, says uh, that initially by Sinai, it says, Vayam do Viru. And after Chet Ego, Moshe Rabbeinu came down, the Cardinal Ponov, they couldn't look in his face, right? Because of the Kedusha that was coming from. I mean, here, the Shin itself, they were able to tolerate. But Moshe, they couldn't, the Kedusha that Moshe, they couldn't tolerate. So Rashi says, before, before the Chet Ego, it was after the Chet Ego, as a result of that. So here we're speaking over here. Salach Tim Sochem is speaking in Mechukos Aitenle. We are doing everything right. So you'll be so spiritual. I should be in Ghana, right? Lo Tiu Mizdazmi Men. You're not going to tremble. For me. Does it mean you won't, you're not going to recognize? You have the reverence. That's yes. But what trembling means, it's like it's beyond your capacity. Personally, it's it's beyond your capacity to deal with it. It won't be beyond your capacity. Okay, let's see the Amara. What's a relationship? What's going to be my relationship with you? In Kemachin Torah. First, in Kemachin Torah. Okay. And this, this goes beyond the Kemachin Torah. It's a relationship. It's interesting. You know, this is Hazal, this is Medrash. It says by the uh, by the air, the air shall live. When he struck the rock, we complained we were thirsty. So when he struck the rock, how much water should have come out of the rock? 
enough water to, for them to quench their thirst and for their animals. It was an unlimited amount of water that came out. So, so the Medjish says, you see the Chesed Hashem, here they complain, they, they complain, they're going to die because they're thirsty. So give them enough water to quench. What do you need such abundance of water? Right? It was unlimited. It flowed unlimitedly. So it, it actually provided for millions of people besides the, the livestock. It's, it's like the Chesed, you're going to die why for your animals. And if the animals, it should be at a minimal level. Why this unlimited level? Since again, it's the same thing. Because anything that a Cheshbon has to do with is unlimited. It's unlimited. Chazal tells me, what's the, what's the Appalachian Shakai? Shakai. What is, uh, this one, I guess, I don't Shakai. What, is it, what does it mean, Shakai? Shakokul died. Shekoha Dai means so the Chazal tells what Kodesh Bo says it, sh- it should be. Kodesh Bo is unlimited. If he said it should be, it's un- it just keeps going. Right? Because the, the energy is unlimited to bring about. So the world will just keep expanding unlimitedly. But the world had to be contained. Because the world had to accommodate the person. So an unlimited world is not for us to, to function within an within unlimited world. So Shekoha Dai, he had to say Dai. He had to rein in on that energy that despite the fact that he's unlimited, he made it limited. Yeah, that, that's the Tzimtzum. But that's your Kochel Dai. I mean, I'm calling it the Tzimtzum, right? That's his thing. So you need your Kochel Dai. But it's so, what is it? so that's it. So by, by the bear, it was unlimited. Because that, that, that's a reflection of the Kochel Merkel. Here, Achaltam Yoshe Noshem. Uh, it's, it's unlimited. This goes beyond. Well, what's the value of this? When you're connected to the unlimited, the result is exactly so that's 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 the kiddush Hashem. That is the kiddush Hashem. So it's not for us to provide for us. It's to tell to tell the world what our relation with our Baruch is and who our Baruch is. Unlimited. So water represents the Torah, which is unlimited. 